Welcome back, everybody, to another edition of Crack and Packs MTG. You know what we like to do here? We like to open stuff. And I'm kind of torn. I've got all these mystery boxes from Walmart that I plan to open. But tomorrow night is our first Pioneer tournament at my local gang store. And I'm one card short of finishing my deck. And I have an entire booster box of Magic Origins here. And I need a Knight of the White Orchid. Should I open this entire box for one card? Is that crazy? I think maybe it is. Let's let's stick to our regular scheduled program of these mystery boxes. And maybe tomorrow, if I can't come up with something, we'll open the Origins box and see if I can get the card I need. All right, our first pack has a Aether Revolt Blue Dice. Has a Oath of the Gatewatch, a Shadows over Innistrad, the wonderful and beautiful Kaladesh, its partner in crime, Aether Revolt. This one has a Dragons of Tarkir and an Eldritch Moon. All right. Box number two. And I know this can kind of get boring opening the, the boxes. See what we have inside. So just bear with me, guys. It'll be worth your while in the end. Because, you know, we always give stuff away here. So, Red, Aether Revolt, another Dragons, Aether Revolt, Kaladesh, Shadows. So, pretty much the same stuff there. I'm going to speed through these last three. That way, I don't have to torture you guys too much longer. And we can see what these packs hold. Alright, that was a black dice of some sort. It's gone. This one has a janky little 2014 corset six card booster this is the kind of crap that you'd find at like the the dollar store that's kind of a kind of a rip off seven lucky number seven and what is this dice from this one has a magic logo all right, these packs, Dragons, Eldritch, Revolt, Kaladesh, Shadows, and Oath of the Gatewash again. Gatewatch, not Gatewash. I doubt they have a dirty gate. Maybe they do. I don't know what they're into. And another blue Aether Revolt dice with the same old, same old. Okay, we only got one bad pack, and that's the six-card jump pack. Let me organize all this stuff. Just bear with me here. And we will get to cracking in just a second. And that's a lot of packs. I didn't really think this through. And there's lots of chances. The reason I like these so much is there's lots of chances to hit the masterpieces. Let's put that little guy right there. And you know, that's... That's kind of been my M.O. lately, is hit, trying to hit the masterpieces. I hit one back in Hour of Devastation not too long ago. And I've been on the chase ever since and not had any luck so far. So maybe that'll change tonight. Fingers crossed. And let's start with the Shadows over Innistrad. Let's just burn through these here. That is a very good uncommon. Lightning Axe. Pack Guardian. Slayer's Plate. Weird piece of equipment. And an Accursed Witch that flips into a Infectious Curse. All right. Let me grab that rare out of here. Let me get back to... There we go. Slayer's Plate. I'll just stick those right over there. Second pack of Shadows over Innistrad. So I hope your New Year's is going good, guys. This is my second opening so far of the year. I hope to do quite a few more. Harness the Storm. And the same Accursed Witch. Kind of grow the channel. Get more people brought in. Because there are very few decent quality pack opening channels to the slaughter. 
And I'm not saying I'm decent yet, but the more I do this, the better I hope I get. And I'm pretty excited about the journey into Nick's. I know I've mentioned that a few times. To the slaughter. <laughs> back to back to the slaughters. Target player sacks a creature or planeswalker. If there are four more card types among cards in your graveyard, instead that player sacrifices your creature and a planeswalker. Surprise that card's not a little better than it is. Seeing how there's so many good planeswalkers right now. That'd be a good pioneer card. But like I was saying, I'm really pumped about the Theros set. I hope, whoa, went a little too fast. Geralt's Masterpiece. Flying, negative one, negative one for each card in your hand. Discard three cards, return it from the graveyard to the battlefield tapped. That's pretty neat. Can't say I even remember that card. And then we have a Timber Shredder and a Foil Rare. Welcome to the fold. Nice. But I have quite a few of the uh, Theros Collector's Booster Boxes coming. Um, I plan on going the pre-release weekend so I can have plenty of regular draft booster boxes to open for you guys. And I'll get to them a little bit early so we don't have to wait the full week until release. I wish I knew a Reflector Mage. That's an amazing uncommon. Gladeheart Calvary and a Full Art Island. I wish I knew a shady game store that would let me have them early. But I don't want to get anybody in trouble. Let's see here. Deep Fathom Skulker. I keep expecting to see an expedition any day. I've opened so much of this. What is the what's the best uh, expedition out of Gatewatch? Is it uh, is it the Wasteland? Maybe. That's a duplicate pack again. That's crazy. I think even all the uncommons and, and everything were the same. That's so strange. That's happened twice. Is MJ Holdings uh, resealing packs? Oh, what? Okay. I, I think I got a peek of something there. Oh, man. My heart skipped a beat. It's just a full art foil. Man, I almost lost it. I just, it's, I feel like I'm due. I feel like I'm going to get one any day, but I don't think today's going to be that day out of Oath of the Gatewatch. We're down to our last pack. All right. Sylvan Advocate. No, no expedition. Let's see, where are we going to go next? Let's go to Dragons of Tarkir. What do we want out here? Collected Company. Called Against Command in here. I think that might... These cards are Ojitai's Command. I don't know if that one's good or not. And a Foil Mountain. I like Foil Basic Lands. Always had a, a weird thing for them. Here, Risen Executioner, Ugly Fat Zombie Dude. What is that? That's kind of sketchy, don't you think? Wonder if this one's been opened. We're about to find out. Haven of the Spirit Dragon with a Foil Contradict. I don't think it was opened. I could be wrong, though. We got lots of packs to plow, plow through here. Look at that. Modern Masters 2015. You guys remember that? The paper packs with a zipper on the back? That was a weird time. Commune with Lava. All right, we're done there. 
Let's go Eldritch Moon next. There's lots and lots of good stuff here. And it's just coincidence my backdrop are Eldritch Moon booster boxes tonight. I didn't know that this would be Dark Salvation. Oh, there we go. Bruna the Fading Light with half of a giant Eldrazi. Double rare pack. It's always nice to see. I've never pulled a Lily out of this, so that would be a, a nice hit for me. Oh, there we go. Bedlam Reveler. This guy saw a lot of play in his in his day. What's on the back of this guy? Eldrazi Werewolf. Heron's Grace Champion. Four mana, flash, lifelink. When it enters the battlefield, other humans get 1-1 one, one, and lifelink until end of turn. He seems decent. And we've got a foil back here. Woo, I just saw the black. That's neat. The, uh, the foil half Eldrazi giant card. That's definitely cool. Sigardia's Aid. This card is one of the best cards out of the set. It's worth a few bucks. Glad to hit it. With a Conduit of Storms as well. Last Eldritch Moon Pack, and then we'll move on to the Kaladesh and Aether Revolt. Soul Separator. That's some crazy looking artwork. With an outcast. Oh! Another Bruna the Fading Light. I doubled up on that one. So would you count this as a rare? Or is it a mythic? You be the judge. Alright, let's go Aether Revolt first. And so far, every time I've opened this, I've got a Walking Ballista. So hopefully that trend will continue. Because we all need walking ballistas. Word of Invention. Oh, there's something back there. Oh, hi -oh. There we go. Heroic Intervention. One of the best cards you can get out of the set. It's actually spiked a few bucks recently. Really happy to see that. That's what tricked me. A foil daredevil dragster. Sorry about that. The new puppy's getting into packs, wrappers that have gotten into the floor. Spire of Industry. Nothing special in the back. Piecework Colossus. Were the vehicles other than the copter, were any of them ever good? I feel like it's a good way to get behind. There we go. Fatal push. That uncommon is worth more than most of the rares. And a merchant's dock hand. Nothing, uh, nothing neat in the back of that pack. So we have five packs of Kaladesh. Wheel Cruiser, another vehicle.
I'd at least like to see one of the uh, one of the lands out of this. That'd make me feel like I didn't completely lose all my money. Wildest Dreams and a Spireside Infiltrator. That one opened real easy. Sahili's Artistry. Oh, it's a full rare. Scrap heap. Can't talk this evening. I apologize. Scrap heap scrounger. Got a little tongue tied. Say scrap heap scrounger three times fast. Demon of Dark Schemes, our first mythic of the night. All right, down to our last pack. We really need some help. Even if it's a bad masterpiece, I will take it. The absolute worst one. Give it to me. Animation module. Do -do -do. Just a mountain. All right, down to our last pack. The janky six card Core 2014, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Little Booster Pack. I don't even know if I'll get a rare in here. One of my slots are, that is terrible. That is absolute hot garbage. Wow, okay. For night's giveaway, I think we got a few cards left in this old commander box sent to us by subscriber Hermie Tig to give away to you guys. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but we guys we, we kind of have a purple theme going on with everything. So let's throw in a purple pack while we're at it. All right, so we get a pack of Eldrano. We have a very nice showcase frame murderous rider. We have a Ugin the Ineffable and a, another Overgrown Tomb. I think we had one in an earlier giveaway. Those three cards can be one of your you, the one one lucky subscribers. Just make sure you like it. Leave me a comment. Hit me up on Instagram and the pack. That's a pretty decent giveaway. You guys have a good evening.